This uh, video is for uh, Slayer, and uh, this is something uh, I wanted to see if, if this uh, new pulse motor circuit would work off of uh, Exciter wirelessly, and uh, it does quite nicely. I didn't know if it would trigger correctly, but it does. This is the one from last night that I had running on the glow stick with the big uh, 4000 ohm coil. Um, of course, it would work out this too, but this was the first one that I built that had that 1500 ohm coil. <clears throat> I did put a little capacitor, um, electrolytic capacitor, before the AV plug, but um, yeah, they, they work wirelessly off an exciter. So, Slider, you've got these exciters uh, too. You can run one of yours off this too, but uh, yeah, this circuit doesn't seem to be bothered by that. Uh, frequency that an exciter puts out and uh, I'm sure it would work off a Dr. Stifler exciter also but if I give it a better ground with my hand here I get even better performance now if I had a, a 10 another tower a remote tower a repeater I could do the same thing off a repeater and increase the distance like we've all been working with but uh, yeah um Pretty neat. This um, this one here, um, like I say, this coil here, it took about 30 minutes to wind this coil. And if you go back one video and look at the link to uh, Theodore Polly has an excellent video on how to make one of these uh, big ohm, uh, thousands of ohms coil. And the dimension is basically a quarter of an inch by an inch and an eighth. Now I shortened his uh, technique a little bit. Uh, it wasn't quite as complicated. I abbreviated it, but uh, you can get some really good results with that high ohm. It's 42 gauge is what I'm using, not 45 or 50 or whatever. It's 42 gauge, which is what I wound the uh, the uh, Easy Spin bobbins with that um, Laser Saber sent me. But anyway, this is uh, running off the little. Uh, um, solar waiver panel pointed away from the window. It's the window there and it's pointed away from the window. It's just ambient light. And then of course this one here is uh, running uh, wirelessly off of the uh, frequency of the coil. Now it'll run over here further away if I give it a better ground on this. And this is a piece of glass, and it's it's. Uh, if I put a ground on this, of course, it's going to work better. Or if I ground this, it's going to work better. This is my mini Tesla coil that um, was very popular. Uh, actually, um, Slayer makes and sells these little uh, mini Tesla coil exciters, and you can buy one of them from him now. And the reason I never uh, uh, sold these or or bother to do anything else with them is this this is his design and he deserves full credit for this Slayer exciter so you can support the uh, experimenters these hobby experimenters by buying the products from the guys that actually invented them that actually do take the trouble to market them and he sells them on Amazon and also on eBay so look up mini Tesla coil Slayer exciter and it's it doesn't have the bulb on the top. It's basically the same setup as I did here, and he went ahead and uh, marketed it. And uh, good for good for you, um, Slayer. I think that was a good idea to get to get this out to the public domain. So anyway, that's the the latest with my little uh, microamp pulse motors. Thanks for watching.